Hi everyone, I am Dr. Tanya Dikshit. I passed MD Radio Diagnosis from SGPGIMS Lucknow in the year 2022 and I am currently pursuing DM Neuro Radiology at EMC New Delhi. So congratulations to all the viewers for choosing radiology as your future branch. Uh, I personally love radio diagnosis and uh, take immense pride in being a radiologist myself. So SGPGIMS is uh, situated in the periphery of Lucknow and the house is a very beautiful and serene campus, something that you fall instantly in love with. Uh, SGPGIMS uh, is primarily a super specialty institute with uh, limited uh, seats in the postgraduate specialties. Uh, there are six seats of MD radio diagnosis here and uh, as far as our department is concerned, we have all the modalities that are available worldwide. Uh, including ultrasounds, x-rays, varium, IVP, mammography, uh, three CT scanners, an MRI machine, a CRM fluoroscopy unit and uh, two DSA machines. We have uh, 10 to 12 uh, consultants in the department presently, all of uh, whom are well trained in both diagnostics as well as uh, intervention. So as the as far as the posting rotations are concerned, uh, there is no specific uh, structured roster for each of the years, but at the end of three years, you can expect to have five to six months of MRI postings, five to six months of uh, CT scan postings, three months of vascular interventions, three months of non-vascular interventions, six to eight months of ultrasound, and uh, the rest of the months will comprise of other miscellaneous postings such as mammography, barium, x-ray, trauma, uh, peripheral postings including obstetrics. We do not have an established obstetric unit uh, within the department but uh, each resident gets to be posted in periphery where uh, they get to learn obstetrics. Uh, that posting lasts for around a month. The workload and uh, the work duration will depend on where you're posted. You can expect to be free by afternoon uh, in the lighter postings such as ultrasound, uh, mammography, trauma, barium or IVP. Whereas uh, the more hectic postings would be those of cross-sectional imaging and interventions where uh, the work duration can extend uh, up to 9pm or even midnight sometimes. There, uh, every resident is expected to do some five to six night duties in a month where you're supposed to supervise the cross-sectional imaging. You're supposed to see cross-sectional cases and report them if required. And uh, you're also supposed to go with the senior residents for peripheral ultrasounds. Also, if you're posted in emergency interventions and if there is any call, then you can perform some minor interventions such as ICDs and PCDs, uh, CT guided drainages during your intervention calls as well. If I talk specifically about each of the postings, then in the ultrasound postings, you're always posted with uh, a senior resident who will supervise you during your scanning and also help you with uh, the ultrasound reporting. In cross-sectional imaging, again, you will be posted with one or two senior residents and your job will be to also take the history from the patients and report as many cases as you can as per your wish. Uh, the consultants come for a sign out mostly the next day. So all the cases are actually seen and checked by the consultants before they are uh, sent out to the patients. We have a very good hospital information system here at SGPGI which uh, helps us uh, extract records of patients very, very efficiently. We don't have to actually run around and uh, run around for history or investigations, we can all get it at our own desktop. It is also a good means to follow up cases um, uh, in the department uh, because we can get both the histopathological data, the surgical outcomes and everything else uh, related to the patient, the entire treatment history and everything on our own desktop. Uh, as far as intervention postings are concerned, the residents get a good enough exposure of all kinds of interventions uh, ranging from CT guided biopsy, CT guided drainage procedures, uh, non-vascular interventions such as PTBDs, PCNs, uh, biliary stentings. In uh, the vascular cases, uh, we perform both uh, neuro interventions as well as uh, peripheral and gastro interventions including tips, dips, TJLDs, um, fistulaplasties, bronchial uterine artery embolizations and a variety of neuro interventions including uh, coilings, uh, embolizations and a lot of diagnostic cranial DSAs. In the vascular postings, the residents may not get a lot of uh, hands-on first-hand uh, uh, experience of the vascular cases. However, you get to assist a good enough amount of cases uh, which is a very very good learning experience. 
as far as academics are concerned we have a lot of interdepartmental meets uh, in the department uh, we have a lot of interdepartmental meets which uh, are conducted every day at 8 am in the morning apart from that we have a good enough number of seminars and case presentations for all the residents so all in all i would say it is a good place to do your residency from the only drawback i would say would be the bond which was implemented 2 years ago and uh, because of the bond the fee would be 40 lakhs and the bond has been strongly implemented in the past 2 years which is a sad thing however uh, sgbj till now has uh, Uh, retained all its candidates here within the campus uh, within the institute so none of the residents have had to go for any rural posting however that definitely is a drawback other than that i would say sgpgi is a very very good place uh, with a good exposure and a good workload of both diagnostic and intervention cases so i would recommend sgpgi to all the residents who are looking forward to learning interventions as well as good diagnostics so all the best all the best for your future and choose wisely